go to my stats now and we go to pitching and uh, uh, let's see. Oh, so you can actually see that it switched that picture and all the stats that went with him changed to Smith now. For some reason, they had 51 as the original pitcher. I mean, I don't know why, but it switched all those stats. So it'll tell you he's pitched one pitch. It was that ground ball. It was a strike and everything has been changed in the system. And even later, when you watch games, uh, I'll show you how you can do that in a second. But but it actually um, will change everything there. It's, it's totally seamless. You can go in and edit it. That's a great feature. Um, let's say some divisions have a run rule. So you have a five run rule. And if you got to a five run rule, let's say we got to it this inning, what I would actually do then is I would click menu and I could click end half inning. So if I end uh, the half inning, um, that would switch the sides and switch over. So that way, once you get to five, you can say, oh, we're at five runs and you can do that. Um, so that's uh, that's how I would handle once a team hits five runs, menu, and then end half inning. And it'll switch that inning and then you can switch sides. Um, is there anything anybody wants to see? Last time they were like, oh, show me a triple play. And I was like, okay. And I dialed one up and I did it. So I can show you guys if there's anything in particular that might be tricky for you or anything you want to see, let me know. I can show you that. Anything? Anything you want to, that you're curious about or anything like that? No. Hey, Jeff, quick question. Yeah, sure. So our team is playing majors this year. Last year, uh -huh. in we. Yep tended to change the lineup like every inning kids would switch positions how hard is that to move kids oh, around? great question so on defense we don't care um okay so so let, let me let me explain this um the bare minimum you want to do is to have the pitcher if you have the pitcher you're good so you can leave every other one of these blank as long as you have the pitcher because you're trying to do pitch counts for both sides yeah. however i always like to fill in all the players so um so I kind of go and I look and I say, okay, Browning's in center field, number eight, you know, let's plug him in there. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, this, the center fielder switched with the shortstop. So the way you would do that, it's very easy. So I would click on shortstop and I would say, actually, I want to put Browning, the center fielder there. And now he's there. And if I want to put the other uh, Reynolds who was playing shortstop back in center field, I just click that and it's done. It's very easy. You just click on the player you want and then you can make the switch. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's really easy to do, but you don't have to do it. But you don't, yeah. The key, I think the key is catcher and pitcher. The reason catcher, because if you pitch 41 pitch or if you catch, sorry, if you pitch 41 pitches in a game, you're not eligible to be a catcher. So I like to keep track of that. I like to keep track of everything, mm -hmm. but catcher and pitcher are the two I really focused on. If I didn't have a player, I could leave it empty. Like these could all just be, you know, right field, left field, and it's fine. It's 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 not the end of the world as long as you've got your pitcher and catcher. Does that make sense? Yeah, and I missed the very beginning. So there's a separate function that shows the batting order, I guess. Yeah. So if you actually, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see my team and the opponent. Mm -hmm. So if you click on my team, there's our batting order. So let's say um number 15 is a due up to bat but in the last inning he got hit in the uh, head with the line drive and we have to remove him from the batting order you could do that so you could just click on him you could sub out of lineup and you could leave it empty and you could just remove him and now he's gone so um so you could you, you can absolutely change the the batting order if you want to um, at any time, or if, you know, somebody showed up late, I want to click, um, add from bench. So like, let's say you had nine, eight players and somebody showed up right at the last minute. You're like, oh, good. So you can add them from the bench and say, okay, this player just showed up and now he's at the bottom of the lineup and you're good. It also has your opponent's lineup. So what we had talked about is you want to have your opponent, you want to, um, you know, when you set up the game, you have to pick the correct coach and team or the correct team. I usually search it by coach. Um, and then their, their roster will be in there and you have to just set up their batting. Order. 
It doesn't take long. It just takes a minute. But um, you would have to set that up prior to the game. It literally, you just click on the players because the roster is already there. So you just want to click the players and add them to the lineup. That just helps you to keep a good score of the game. So I had another question. Okay, great, great. What happens if two teams score? Okay, runners advance on throwing errors. Great question. So you can always advance a runner. So let's say this pitcher gets a line drive base hit and he gets a single and he goes there. But let's say the left fielder throws it into second base and just like heaves it away. <laughs> so like he throws it away <laughs> and now this runner wants to take second. So I can drag him to second base. I could say, is he safe or is he out? So let's say he's safe and it says, what happened? And you can say it was a throwing error on the left fielder because it'll ask you who was the error on and I'll click the left fielder and now it charges him with the error. So that's how that does that. I hope that answered that question. Um, another thing could be, let's say um, now there's a base hit and there's a line drive single to center field. Um, and this time the, the person going to first wants to go to second, but he gets caught. So we drag that over and we click out. Now it's going to say it's out. Why? What happens? What was on the last play? And the center fielder threw it to the shortstop. And then you click done. And now he's out. So, you know, even if you now let's say <laughs> 51 tried to score. And he, he goes home and he got out. And what happened was it was on the last play and there was a rundown. So that shortstop threw it to the catcher, who threw it to the third baseman, who threw it to the catcher. And then the pitcher came over and then he threw it to the first baseman who covered. <laughs> so, so you can literally <laughs> drag players back and forth the whole time. I've had that happen. And, and people look at me like, how'd you score that? One? I was like, well, as best I could, you know, and then you can click done. So, um, so yeah, I mean, you can literally, you know, track every throw that happens in a game. And here's the thing, like, you know, the, the perfection element of this thing is up to you guys. Like, as I've gotten more used to this, I get a little more advanced in what I score, but for the most part, we're just trying to, you know, count balls and strikes and pitches hits, um, and those kinds of things, um, to make sure that you're, you know, I use this as a training tool. I use this as a practice tool. I want to see, and I'll show you stats here in a minute uh, of what I look at and what are some, some key things and, and what can help me, um, you know, in, in practice. So I look at this kind of stuff a lot um, and I use it. So, so I've gotten more advanced on it, but again, you know, keep it as simple as you can initially. Practice scoring a game like I'm doing here and it'll give you the ability to, um, to test it out, like practice, you know, watch a Rockies game or any, any baseball game you can find on TV and keep score for a couple of innings and see if you can do it and see, see what you have. Um, another thing is, let's say on that last play <laughs> that I messed up the scoring, like maybe I, I, I messed up, I can click the undo and it undoes that whole thing that just happened. That whole rundown just happened. I was like, ah, you know what, Never mind. It's close enough. And I click redo. And then it makes it happen again. <laughs> so it'll count all that stuff if you watch it later. So, um, so that's really cool. Um, okay, good. So uh, any qu more questions about in-game scoring kind of stuff? Don't be shy. Okay, good. Now let's say the game is done. I'm gonna click menu. Now, if, if this is a practice game, so it's not there. So you want to say, uh, it says end game. Like here, it just says exit, you know, scoring game. But if I actually want to click, uh, there's a button that says finalize game or end game. I could click on that. It would actually bring up for me um, a thing. Who's the winning pitcher? Who's the losing pitcher? And who gets the save? Um, I like to keep track of that stuff too. You can always change it after if you're in a hurry or something after the game. But I always like to do that too. So a cool thing is, so let me go back. So this is the 2017 River Cats was, I, I won the championship with this AAA team. I like it. So I'm going to click on them to use them as an example um, of that team. And um, the cool thing about this is I have stats. 
for that whole season. I can actually relive every game if I want to. And if I want to relive the glory days, I can do that. Um, <laughs> I don't have that for my Little League games, but that's okay. So if I click, um, here's that team. If I click stats on that team, I can scroll and look at the stats of every player on this team. So you can see um, Kane Mullen, that's my son at the top, number 10. He played 23 games, 69 plate appearances, 65 at bats. He doesn't walk very much. Um, he batted 892 that season. He had a good season. Um, you know, 2.175 on base plus slugging. He had 58 hits. He had 42 singles, eight doubles, uh, seven triples, and a home run. He had 53 RBI. So I can go back and, and, and do this and check it out for that whole season. Um, it has all the different stats for him. It'll even, <laughs> he's still one base. Come on. Uh, just kidding. Um, but it has those for standard stats. And then I can click on advanced stats. And it'll even tell me different things. Um, let's see, ah, quality of bats. So it'll give you, this is a really good stat. So I like to know quality of bats, a quality of bat. And it'll, if you don't know what one of these stats is, if you scroll to the bottom, it tells you. So let's see, quality of bats is any one of three pitches after two strikes, six plus pitch at bats, extra base hit, hard hit ball, uh, walk, a sack bunt or a sack fly are all quality of bats. So I like to see who's having quality of bats on my teams. Um, I, I use that as a, as a, um, you know, as, as training tools. Contact is another one. So I like to know who puts the ball in play. Um, so like you can see, like Kane didn't strike out the whole season. That's awesome. Uh, Steven was 86%. So, and how many hard hit balls, how many line drives, foul ball or fly balls or ground balls? What is the batting average of balls in play? What's the batting average of runners in scoring position? I love that one. It tells you, you know, um, you know, who's good in the clutch, two out RBI. So there's, you can pull up and then there's pitching stats and stuff here, too, from all the pitching and everything. One thing in pitching I really like, this is really good. If I click advanced and under pitching stats, I like to know how many pitches per inning that shows efficiency. Um, it'll also show you strike percent. This is a really good so, so if I, I'll just hover by strike percentage and it'll tell you who throws strikes by what percentage. Um, I like to know that stat. It's important to me. Um, I, I like to know who, who gets the ball over the plate and, and those kinds of things. So you can look at, you know, this, those kinds of stats. Um, another thing, if I go back to the schedule is I can relive a game. So um, I can look at, you know, this game against the Raptors. And I can replay the game at the top. So this is really cool. So this is that game as it unfolded in that inning, like in this whole game. So this is the top of the first, you know, Kane was pitching, Hayden Morton was batting for them. You can see my whole lineup in the field that day. Uh, and it goes through pitch by pitch. And if I click that little button on the bottom that says, um, it's like a little speaker that's aligned through it, it'll actually keep score for me or it actually has a scorekeeper that that announces the game so it's really cool so we see oh there's an error on luke on that play so that was a bummer um here comes wyatt he hit a ground ball he reached on an error oh no the wheels are coming off uh, <laughs> but anyway it's it's so cool like to come back and watch some of these games and stuff it's just really fun i really like that aspect of things so i just wanted to show you guys that um that you can do those kinds of things as well